Hello my lovelies, um, I'm back, isn't this amazing, twice in a week. Um, today I'm going to be bringing you a quick review um, of some Miners cosmetics products that I was sent. Now, I don't know about you, but Miners is a brand that I haven't really heard anything of for a while, but that you see in Chemists and Superdrug quite a bit. Um, I didn't really know much about them, so when I was offered uh, the chance to review them, I was really, really excited because I thought, hmm. Worth we go. So I'm going to bring you a review of the Dip and Define eyeshadows that I was sent. Um, there's six in the collection. I was sent five. I think I was sent five, unless I've lost one down the side of the sofa. Um, but no, I think I was sent five. So I'll bring you a review of the five that I have. Now these are quite a lot in style, like um, some Bare Minerals High. I think they're called High Shine eyeshadows that have come out recently. They come in a little tube like this, yep, there we go, dip it to fine, and when you open them, you have um, a sponge applicator, and then all the eyeshadow is loose inside. Uh, I was sent these five colours, so there is this one, which is uh, khaki gold, that looks a bit like that, it's sort of a greeny, goldy colour. Sorry, the light is really terrible, which is why I'm on the stairs, um, because it's the only place with actual daylight in my house. Uh, we live in a little terrace, so a bit of a nightmare. This one is called Cloud Nine, and it's a lovely shimmery white colour. This is Damson Dust, and it really is a beautiful sort of damsony purple colour. This is Rough Diamond, which I thought was a grey, slate grey, but actually it's got a bit of blue in it. And then this is Deep Cornflower, which is very blue. So I'll bring you some swatches. And I'm actually wearing, a, what is it called? Damson Dust and Cloud Nine on my eyes today. Um, they look a bit like that. Um, I've also got a bit of the rough diamond in the crease. So that's how they look on. They are quite pigmented actually. Now, this is khaki gold. So I'm swatching all of these on bare skin, no primer. Uh, cloud nine. Uh, I'm using the applicator so you can see what sort of a finish you get with that applicator. It is quite difficult to use. Uh, it's a really pigmented white. It, yeah, it's quite difficult to use the applicator if you want to do anything precise because it is essentially just a big sponge. Um, it also means that they're not the most hygienic. Um, so if you wanted to use these on someone else, that one was the rough diamond. If you want to use these on someone else, I would recommend uh, not using the applicator for at all, but using a brush, which you can. If you use a small enough brush, you can fit it inside the hole uh, that's in there. So there's this gorgeous damson colour. I really like that, actually. And then finally, deep cornflower. Oh, no, sorry. I've got that mixed up. So, this is khaki gold, this is cloud nine, this is deep cornflower, this is, oh, damson dust, and then this at the end here is rough diamond. So that's the same, as you can see, they are quite pigmented. They are loose pigments, uh, loose powders. Um, I really like them. I can't remember the price, I'll pop it in the bar down there, but I think they're quite cheap. They're sort of £3 each, and you've got a lot in there, a heck of a lot. So you've got, how many grams does it say? No, again, I'll find out how many grams you've got um, in there. So they are good value for money. Um, and I managed to use my smudge brush, I put that, managed to put that inside. And I didn't quite fit my crease brush inside uh, fully, but I only had to sort of split out a couple of bristles, so that was alright. So anything about this sort of width... Um, or slimmer should be fine for getting in. I was also sent um, the Voluptilash Volumizing Mascara. I sent this in 
black and in brown um, and I'm not actually wearing it at the moment I'm wearing something else uh, which is a bit silly but I love this mascara it's absolutely fabulous I've been wearing it every single day since I was sent it um, it's got a double helix sort of style brush if you can see that the thing I love about it is that it doesn't give you a massive globule of mascara on the end when it comes out and um, I am wearing another mascara part to show you. If you can see, it really grabs each lash perfectly. Um, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous mascara. Um, I would thoroughly recommend buying this one for a cheap mascara, drugstore brand. Um, this is one to definitely purchase in the future. I'll bring some blog pictures of what this actually looks like on um, at another time for you. Uh, so there you go, there's my little Miners Cosmetics bits. Have you tried anything from Miners? Um, have you tried anything in the past? Have you tried anything recently? Let me know. Uh, and also, I'm just going to share with you my very, very cool and slightly geeky uh, t-shirt before I go. Um, it's going to be backwards, but hopefully you can see. It is a t-shirt of epic epicness. Um, any of you who've seen or read Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, I'm sure will absolutely love it. Scott and Ramona, who I actually... So um, thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!